Hi there folks, welcome to Dunsey's Guitar World and welcome to 1973 the sensational Alex Harvey Band release their second album Next N-E-X-T N-E-X-T Next Some mirror cover, see the spooky glow Just think they're Halloween Anyway, in my humble opinion this is the best sensational Alex Harvey Band album and today I'm going to do a guitar lesson from one of the songs from this I've already done Faith Healer up there, or up there, can't remember where it turns up so I've already done a lesson for this now song 2 on this album is called Gangbang now I make no comment on the subject matter mm -hmm. Yes? You know which reminds me, you know there's something I've always wanted to ask someone like you Do you get much? Not too often. Just an occasional glass of dinner. That's not what she meant. But suffice to say, I think 1973 was a different time to 2021. You know, great tune though, absolutely brilliant tune. I played this in a few bands. So today, as ever, I'm going to show you. In fact, coming a bit closer. I'm a graduate from the Guitar School of Supreme Chancery. I'm not here to show you the not perfect rendition of this song. I'm here to show you how to play this so that when you turn up in a practice room with your friends, a few beers perhaps, if you're a beer type, whatever, and uh, you'll get through this song. What I'm showing you here, I'm going to show you the simple version of this. And I'm going to, I'm going to go through the solo, it's quite a short solo, but a brilliant solo. And I'm going to show you my version of the solo. I cannot play like Zal. Nobody can play like Zal, apart from Zal, obviously. So I'm going to show you what I would play when I'm doing this live. So, here we go. So there's really only two parts to this song. I'll play through what the verse was, I'll play through it slowly first. <laughs> So what that is, it's the 6th fret of the A string, hammer on to the 7th fret, over to the 5th fret of the D string. Back to the 6th fret of the A, down to the 5th fret of the A, down to the C. I think it just plays a C note, maybe a C bar chord, but I can just hear the C note. So it goes like this. Yeah, I think it's just the C note. And he plays this little line. Now you're sliding into the 8th fret of the G and B strings down to the 7th, but pull on that to the 5th fret G and B strings. Now you really want that C note there, the 5th fret of the G string to ring out. So those two parts together go like this. A G chord, power chord, fifth fret of the sixth string, sorry, third fret of the sixth string, fifth fret of the A string, bring down your pinky on the seventh fret of the A string. Over to the C chord and play the same thing. Same thing again. Now the chorus goes up to the F on the 8th fret of the A string and the 10th fret 
of the D string coming down on the 12th fret of the G string with your pinky, like this. <laughs> Down to a C. Down to a G sharp major. Do a G. Back to the C. Back to the F. C. G sharp, G, C. Now back into another verse. for the chorus C G sharp G C When I'm doing this live I alternate between just the normal F chord and the chorus and then just this So it's the 10th fret of the D and G string uh, the 11th fret of the A, hammer on to the 12th fret of the A, back across to the 10th fret of the D and G. Then I'll do a slide down just from the sort of 11th fret of the E string, and then pick up the C chord at the 5th fret of the D and G strings and play the same thing. So put that together. So this is just the chorus, it's just like a different version. And then instead of playing the G sharp there, I'll do like an inverted chord. To the C. So the alternative way goes like this. Now what I'll do for the solo is I've created a backing track. So I will, I'll get this out in the open here, I'm not playing the solo exactly as Zal is playing it. Like I say, nobody plays it exactly like Zal, apart from Zal. So I'll run through the little backing track I've created for the solo and I'll play my version over it. And if you think that that's accurate enough for you to try, then I'll show you how to play it as well. So the solos over these chords, it's the G sharp for I think about 12 bars, 11 bars. Then finishes with the G to the C. Then here's what I'm playing. So it starts, there's a gap when the band finishes the end of the chorus. Sal so comes in with this pre-bend, or sorry, I come in with this pre-bend. So it's the 8th fret of the B string and the 7th fret of the G string. So it's like pre-bent and then let it down. And then these two notes, the 10th fret of the D and the 8th fret of the G. So those two bits together. Then you 
bend up the 11th fret of the B string. Down again. To the 9th fret. To the 10th fret of the G. Bend up a bit. Over to the 9th fret of the E. And then the 8th fret of the E. And when you play that last note, the 8th fret of the E, you hit the 9th fret of the B. Play that slowly. So play that slowly. Those two bits together. And again. The next phrase starts with the 11th fret of the E bent up. Down, hit it again. To the 9th fret of the B. 10th fret of the G. Bend up again to the 11th fret. Sorry, to the 9th fret of the E, down to the 8th fret. Same, same as the last measure finishes. So that measure is. Again, you can, on the last note, when you're playing the 8th fret of the E, you can play the 9th fret of the B as well. So play it up to where we are so far. And again. And once more for luck. And the solo finishes with this phrase. So I'll play that slowly. It's a pre-bend on the, what frets are so it's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18th fret of the E. So you bend it, let it down. To the 16th, back to the 18th. To the 16th of the B. To the 18th of the B. To the 16th of the G. Over to the 17th of the G. So I'll play that slowly. Finish it with this phrase. So that is the 12, 13, 15th fret of the G. Bend up. Catch the 13th fret of the B and E strings. And then the 15th, so 12, 13, 14, 15. 16th fret, I can't count, I can't count frets this high up, 16th fret of the B string, to the 15th fret of the G, bend it up to the 13th fret of the B and finishing on the 15th, 17th and then up to the 20th fret of the B. So play that last part slowly again. Or something like that. So I'll play the solo again with the backing track.
So I hope that was helpful. A guitar lesson for Gangbang by the sensational Alex Harvey Band from the album Next, played on a Richie Cotson Telecaster. I bet Mr Richie Cotson would never have thought of the day his guitar would be playing a song called Gangbang. Thank you for watching folks, it's a privilege and a pleasure bringing you content on Dunsey's Guitar World. Cheers for now.